Well, a local artist is getting the spotlight at a museum gallery in Stockton. Cody's standing by to meet her and get a little preview of these. Yes, things. ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to the lovely Susan Bond. Hello, Woo! Susan. How are you? I'm great. Thank you, Cody. Uh, Susan, I love you this much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. I love oh. you this much, Cody. Oh, thank you very much. I've been dying to talk to you about this exhibit. Uh, why is it called I Love You This Much? Well, this exhibit is dedicated to my mom. Uh, she passed away when she was 74, so I did 74 paintings to her. Oh. And the buttons, and I, she left her sewing basket, and then that's where the buttons come from. I just wanted to give them new life and put her spirit back out in the world. Susan, that is lovely. Uh, you and I have been talking back and forth because I wanted to show this off. I didn't know the backstory. I just thought the art was so whimsical and lovely that I wanted to share it off with the people at home. But the backstory just makes me want to tear up just a little bit. That's lovely. <laughs> yeah, it's it, well, whenever I start a show, I, it usually starts out with love in t in, intended into the artwork. So this was really easy to do for me. Um, paying the homage to my mom, and I probably could have done a thousand paintings, but I had to have some sort of limit. Some sort of uh, cutoff? Yeah. But yeah, it's, yeah, some sort of cutoff. But yeah, every one I did, I was even, you know, more pleased with it because, I don't know, I, I mean, I don't consider it work, it's just what I love to do. Uh, I consider it work, and I think you're doing good work, quite honestly. <laughs> Have you ever thought about maybe putting these into a book form? Because I, I think it would just be fabulous as a coffee table book. Um, I, a couple of people have approached me on that, and it's definitely a possibility. Definitely yeah. a possibility. I, yeah, I could see doing something like that. I will pre-order it right now, Susan, if you'll do it. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, what's some of the reaction you're getting yeah. from it? Oh, everyone loves it. Of course, the uh, color when they walk in, um, just the, the theme of the show. And I mean, I've had several students come in that really like it. I try to encourage them to do art in any form. Um, drawing, just drawing a color book, just start your creative juices because you won't run out of imagination. I, there's just too much going on in the world to uh, get bored of anything. That's true. I mean, That's we should true. all be doing art. I agree with you. I agree with you. I tell you what, um, uh, tell the folks at home how long the exhibit's going on and then we'll come back again and show off some more of these pieces because I just think they're lovely. Okay, thank you. Uh, it, where is the, it's at the Mer Mexican Heritage Center uh, on uh, Sutter Street. Yes. And then how long is it going Street, on? Sutter Street, Stockton. Uh, uh, I hate to say, but today is the last day. <gasps> no, not the last day. So they have to really, they, but they can really rush down here. Yes, I absolutely. mean, it's easy. It's right off the freeway. Oh, there you go. Okay. I'll be here until 8 o'clock. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, we will uh, check in with you because I want to get some up close and personal with some of your favorite pieces, okay? Okay, great. All right, thank you very much. Isn't that great? That, I love that. And honestly, like, I've buttons. been obsessed with her art because it's so colorful. Yeah. And it's got such whimsy to it, but right. that, that backstory just was lovely, it was wasn't it? So it was sweet. So nice. Back to you, Court. All right, thanks, Code.